You know, folks, I've, I've been thinking a lot about how I can really help you and what has helped me the most in uh, my development and how I can relay that to you. If I were to have only one thing to say to you, I believe it would be this. Stay tuned. If I were to only have one thing that I could share with you that would help your work exponentially grow, it would be to work from life with the model as much as possible. Just recently I was doing a, a workshop and in the workshop we worked through the whole week. Um, I set up a model and came up with a composition. I painted every day on the piece and I worked from life every day. Uh, and we came up with a successful piece and it was a great workshop. Prior to uh, me physically painting the piece, I spent quite a bit of time with the model working out the composition. Took many, many photographs and uh, finally de decided on a composition and then we proceeded. Just recently, I looked back at a lot of the photographs that I took and there were some really beautiful images. So I decided that I'd really like to paint another one. Um, so the temptation, the question is, do I paint it just from the photograph or do I go through the work and hire the model back? My advice to you would be whenever possible, always, always work from life. What does it mean? Yeah, it means that you've got to call the model and you've got to hire them and pay them and schedule them and get all of it set up. It's a little bit of a hassle and believe me, I'm as tempted as anybody to um, forego all that and just sit in the studio with the music and the coffee and, and paint away. But the dividends that you're giving up by not working from life are, are huge. Um, you don't want to throw that away. You want to grab on to as much as we can um, and try to get that into the painting. And the best way to do that is to paint from life. So get the models back, uh, set them up, Look at the photograph as you're doing it. So what I did in this case, I uh, had the model back, had the photograph up because there was a certain quality to the photograph that I liked as well as a certain mystery to it that I liked. Um, but I also had the model up. So I was referring to both images while I did this. Uh, again, had I just worked with the photograph, I would have missed all of the subtlety and color that goes along this edge where it goes from from this blue to the pink to the blue to the pink to the blue uh, right in the edge here where that the the edge work the great variety in edge work that you can't necessarily see from a photograph but when you're squinting at it from life you see those edges come and go and to capture them um, as you're seeing them is is absolutely um, breathtaking so my advice to you would be to spend as much time in front of the model as possible. Use the photographs as tools to build your composition. Get the composition set, then hire the models back. So important. What working from life does is it brings a bit of the spirit of the person into the painting. When we work from a photograph, it's basically an intellectual exercise. When we work from life, we are responding to, with, with every sense that we have, to the subject, you know, and all of those sensory inputs play a part in the final piece. So at all costs, work from life whenever you can. Keep squinting and pour as much beauty as we can into this world. I also want to say thanks to many of you who have sent in uh, some testimonials on how these courses are helping you. It's great to hear that, the, that the, these resources are hitting home and that they're really helping you uh, bring clarity to your work and, to, and, and that you're excited about seeing your works improve. So thank you for sending those in. I really appreciate it.
This highlight is just slightly lighter than the cool violet underneath it. It's warmer again. Again, shifting the temperature wherever you can at every plane change. <laughs> 